start our video. All right, so let me introduce everybody. This is George and his wife, Jennifer. And and then uh, most of you, oh, that was a hello. <laughs> Forgive me. There was. All right, um, a lot of folks already know the two of you guys because you're finishing up your first visit here, three weeks, but you posted after your first week about a number of improvements. You know already my style. I always like to get updates so that everybody that's out there, whether they're dealing with motor neuron disease or they're treating motor neuron disease, to understand the treatability becomes important. And I appreciate you guys jumping on today and just going through things. Will you, you walk us through, tell us what's been going on? Sure. So George was diagnosed with ALS on May 18th of 2023. And he had symptoms leading up to that about two years. Um, started out with some phlegm, and then we noticed some raspiness in his voice, and then it eventually led to fine motor skill problems and um, just got worse from there. Um, we first heard about body science, um, I would say about two and a half months ago. George saw it on a Facebook page, and so we started researching and researching, and we just knew we had to get in here. So we did our Zoom call with Amy and made the date, and we got in here as fast as we could with lots of help <laughs> from family. Mm -hmm. And since then, we've been here three weeks now, and every single day we have seen so many improvements. Um, even the third day we were here, um, George was able to lift his arms up, which when we first got here, he could not even lift his arm whatsoever. And now he can lift his arms up. We can do all the things that involve <laughs> lifting his arms up. He can now open and close his car door. He can put a seatbelt on. He was able after the third day to pull his seatbelt across, which he hasn't done in probably eight months. Now he can click a seatbelt, get in the car, no problem. Um, he was not hardly able to swallow at all leading up to this. He was choking on every liquid, even if we would put thickener in it. And um, boy, he can swallow any drinks now. He's eating better. Just every day we're seeing so many improvements and even in his fine motor skills as well. And we know they're just gonna keep improving from here. So we are so grateful. We did a number of things because it's your first mm -hmm. visit, including astrocyte protocol throughout. Uh, we see routinely fine motor coordination as one of the more common improvements uh, for that. And so when we started to notice the same for you, it wasn't a surprise. The swallowing, you guys met Carol when you were here. Yes. So we were just talking in the back mm. because Carol made that comment. She's like, I can swallow better. I can, I can eat better. And I hardly need any water when I am eating. And I can easily swallow like glasses. So the fact that you guys got a chance to sit next to each other and mm -hmm. now here you are at the end of the three weeks with the same kind of thing, like the improvements, the same thing that she described, and then here you are kind of going through that same process. Yes. It's, it's a fun thing to watch. It huh? is. It absolutely is. We never expected to see these improvements so quickly, especially, like I said, by day three we were seeing improvements. And now with the swallowing, I know we're all like a nervous wreck when he's eating and <laughs> drinking liquids because we're so afraid he's going to choke. But it is just, you know, feels like the weight of the world is being lifted off of our shoulders now. And like you said, Amy, talking with Carol and seeing all these improvements, it's like it can mm. happen with anyone. You know, we're seeing these. Everyone else can see these improvements, too. Yeah. And we were talking. So uh, a couple of weeks ago, your first week, there was somebody that's here that had come in the past and had improvements and then ultimately stabilized and now came back and has improvements where where she's really getting major function back the point i'm making is at some point somebody's going to come into the clinic and they're going to see the two of you guys mm -hmm. and they're going to be like george i already know you how's your swallowing <laughs> and at that point no different than carol mm -hmm. you're going to be like oh gosh my swallowing's been so much better for so long I've mm -hmm. totally forgot about that mm -hmm. the number of people that you see getting better it changes how you see this disease absolutely absolutely 100 mm. percent. I cannot wait until I see you next time Thank I you. cannot wait to see what happens next when I saw you and you came over here 
and you were sitting, George, you barely were able to bring your neck up off the back of the chair. Mm -hmm. So now for me to see you, and all day you've had your back up off your chair, right? You've had your head like straight. uh, And even now when I look at you, the fact that you're so straight up, the fact that you're so much stronger Mm -hmm. for me is like night and day different from when I saw you. It really is, he said, yeah. Yeah. All right, so then uh, for all the future George fans that are out there, <laughs> right, just wait until we see you next time. Everybody get ready. Oh, that's true. You can, that, yeah, you could raise your own arms at this yeah. point. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> okay, we'll see you again soon. Sounds mm. great. Thank you. All right. Okay, so I just turned on my video, and and so what I would say to everybody, we just finished the video with you and Jennifer and then there wasn't anything that you had wanted to say. You just typed it in. I'll come on over and then let us know, George. When you see other people healing and you start to heal, it changes your perspective and that helps your body heal. I completely agree. So for everybody mm. that wasn't, uh, again, we finished the video. We were just talking. My goal really is to create a new face to this disease. Uh, and so the way I look to do that is these videos as people are getting better and then they can talk about the improvements to your point George it is I imagine impossible to keep trying to get better when you're getting worse and never seeing a win Mm -hmm. what I think is so important is you see yourself turning that corner you see for the first time that you can improve it changes everything it changes your perspective Uh. on this disease and it changes what is capable, you know, what you are capable of in the future. So I agree, mindset is huge, but I think it's unfair from my from my standpoint anyway to just tell somebody, "Hey, get your mindset under control." But with a handful of improvements or wins, it gives you a sense of, "Okay, I got this. I can do this." So I completely agree. Having the right mindset is critical having somebody that can help you get better so you can get to that mindset is the responsibility of everybody that is treating this disease right you got to get wins for people you got to be able to get people better so they can see their future and what's in store for them i completely agree hey thanks for that i'll put this on the rest of the video good see you next time